In this video, we will be looking at the best memes, art, and discussions about Solaris from the last month. But I won't be doing this alone. Today, we have the one and only Montu Plays. Is that where I say hi? <laughs> hi! Hi! Yeah. Cheers hi. and claps. Woo! This is going to get off to a great start. The first post of this month. Oh, hi. Sorry, is this where I come in? Oh, no, no. It's my bad. You, sorry, you, you, start, you keep going. My bad. Oh, dear. A knock That's on That's a the... great post, isn't it? Sorry. Oh, no, sorry. You're going. Oh, I see. I see. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I need to breathe. Breathe. Don't let me stop oh, you. Sorry. It's just this delay. Oh, it's happened again, hasn't it? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> A knock on the wrong door. The triumph of the Greater Terror Union. Look at that art, Monty. Beautiful. Well, that reminds me of something. Does cough, it? cough. Oh. Shameless plug, Stellaris Timelines, Cough Cough, inspired by Stellaris and Victor. I mean, no, that's beautiful <laughs> art, though. It is. Um, who's it made by? I'm just going to jot that down if, uh, I'm not if sure it, it says. Five years ago, in Victor was. That's insane. I didn't even know what Stellaris was five years ago. That's how much of a boomer oh my, I am. Oh, oh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> yes, Montu is doing a uh, event video series based on Invicta. Well, not based, but inspired, oh, inspired, by, inspired, by, inspired by, by. Valuable resolutions. Workers of the galaxy, unite! For too long we have toiled under authoritarian regimes. The resolution Minor I propose sanctions. We need greater sanctions. Than Administrative, economic, research, military, also moderate sanctions <laughs> now. Pess or something. These yank. Tiankis. Tank that's definitely Tianki. <laughs> no, it's a yank. That's definitely shout no, it's Tianki. <laughs> Tianki. Oh yeah, these pests need yeah. killing. Kill the Tianki. Ever underestimate. Space filibuster. <laughs> yes. Star's version of the Noid Bird meme. Oh. I don't know the Noid Bird meme. Same. Oh, the core one. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Points for realism. Yeah, that's definitely ultra realistic. Even better if they weren't proposing greater good and they were proposing like, uh, the galactic crisis. We must defeat the contingency. Boo. Moderate sanctions. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Conserve the Tianki. I get people that write this under my videos. You should read this in your in an angry yes. voice. I I feel this quite strongly. Quite frankly, the state of the game is atrocious. Now that battles dominate the Mary, it's become impossible to play peaceful nations at all. It's just not fair. And don't even get me started on weapons. Neutron launchers are so unfair. There's so, no reason to research any other gun. And tech rush, no clerks. Pass the fuck up this. Sir, this is a mega Wendy's. Oh, sorry, just, just really gets to me. But don't worry, uh, matter will be changed hopefully in the next update with the new ships. Didn't you tell us that uh, anglers are meta now, right? Anglers are the best meta, yes. Yeah, are they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was working today on a, a video on chemical bliss, and I, I just can't find a use for it when you wouldn't otherwise take like utopian abundance. Yeah. Like forty percent happiness is great, but utopian abundance is just a bit better. I don't know. I'm an academic I'm privilege main. Hmm. Love me some Maybe science. I'll something out. Habitable. My gosh. Planet. A uh, planet orbiting another planet. Never before have I seen this in all of my years. <laughs> I it said this can happen, work can't amazing. It? Yeah, it happens all the time. That, the, yeah, I've had that happen in Trappist a bunch. First time I've seen an orbital situation like this. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, habitable moon or orbiting a primitive world. Oh, yeah, those yeah, are yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. Those are funny. It's like, oh, they're in the space age, but they cannot see us. <laughs> this, this moon is an alloy foundry producing an mega shipyard in the system. We are invisible, <laughs> yes. It's just Wallace and Gromit on our moon getting some cheese. Just, it's fine. Everything's fine. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Toxizer Among Us. R5? <laughs> What's the R5 here? I've got the, let's go down to the R5. I Do you not know what that's team. referencing? You're such a no, boomer. No. It's Among Us. <laughs> I um I did play Among Us a few times. Um I have done actually, so I'm Where's not the that R5? Not a boomer really. I'm down with the kids. Yeah. <laughs> There's no R5. Yeah, whatever. When you know you're the intended audience for a game. Has anyone had a chance to try the minus 110% housing you spilled yet? I wouldn't know anything about that. No. Nothing. Uh, minus 110 housing? Nope, nothing. What's that mean? Don't get it. <laughs> yeah, you did just uh Don't know what you're talking about. Not is possible. this where you got the inspiration from? We found where Montu gets his uh, ideas from, confirmed. Reddit. No, that's actually a Discord post that's been like, where did the Discord person get their idea from? You know, we got, we got to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. That's true. That is true. Oh, that flag annoys me. That does I really annoy me. I saw this post once. Um, look at it. Look at it. Oh, Disgusted. It's just so close. <laughs> 
that's what I think this of this. This is why planets burn. Yeah. Like, that right there. This game's broken. Why do we even make videos on it? Like, if you can't my get the flag... My is spoiled and my day is ruined. I can't do this anymore. Add? No, no, like, we need to go through the ad. It's on the Reddit page. We've missed the important <laughs> ad, ep 3 I'm going to play an ad right now. <laughs> <laughs> Someone put a hyperdrive on this asteroid. Asteroid, incoming asteroid, hostile. Hull points, FTL capability, yes. That's just the asteroid. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> can, oh, I see. Can... That's a weird that they've left that in. What? Wait, asteroid gameplay. This is how the bug meteorites hit the Earth in Starship Troopers. They had FTL capability. Yes. <laughs> Evidently, this is it right here, you know. At least it doesn't have job. stealth capabilities. Imagine just an asteroid going through the hyperlane and being like, um. Have you seen Stargate 1? No. Uh, Stargate SG-1, no, you haven't exactly. Checkmate. Sad. Carter, I can see my house. Carter, I can see my house. I don't know what that reference is at all. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, that's no moon. I know that one. Yo, you do. <laughs> Wait, maybe it is a Death Star. You never know. Artificial male enhancement. Your species is cybernetic. Where are your enhancements? Looks down at Montu's crotch. Giggity, 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 oh, giggity, 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 giggity. and rapid breeders. Meanwhile, on r slash Stellaris. I think we got together that great joint effort. Yes, we are, we are read it. I wonder if this was the class 30 singularity, the contingency we're on about. <laughs> I'll show you my class 30 singularity. <laughs> Wicked face. This only makes me more hype for full cybernetic ascension. I know, I know, subject to change in a life. But one can dream. That's from a, uh, what's it called? Paradox con thing, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. The ascension trees. Oh, yeah. Coming oh, yeah. soon. Yay, surprise vacation! Okay, open your eyes. Soul free resort, tomb world. We are getting a divorce, Montu. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but two are the best worlds to make into resort worlds. Then they get 100% habitability. <laughs> it's, true, it's true. Stellaris original meme. Did you know you can turn tomb worlds into resort worlds? Doing so boosts the habitability to 100%. Just don't plan a vacation there if you value your relationships. Yes. Well, there's a good point though. It's a post-apocalyptic version of Westworld for spiritualists, the place to meditate on the mistakes of prior civilizations, basically just being all high and mighty. I can see that yeah. actually. That's, you can justify uh, anything with a uh, with role play. You can justify anything with Stellaris. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the beauty of it. There's the beauty. My favorite civic combination. Idealistic Foundation and Shadow Council. Yes. I like, I prefer this as well if it's um, fanatic, egalitarian, and then something like xenophobe. All citizens are equal, but some are more equal than others. <laughs> it's true though. Like Shadow Council might also believe in the idealistic foundation. Perhaps they were the revolutionary founders driven by democratic ideals who over time became disillusioned. They still maintain a just society where citizens can live in equality and justice, but this, this dream requires compromises. Good <laughs> Compromises. Just me. Oh, look, some more in Victor out. It's so good. That's pretty good, yeah. That is like a perfect phone screen. Announcing the Toxoid Species Pack for the first time ever. For the first time ever, yeah. Yes, well. <laughs> Welcome everyone. I mean, you've all We're seen the content. The trailer. No, no, no. Uh, but speaking of, how would you rate uh, Toxoids now that we've played I think it's it? the best species pack they've had. Um, I wouldn't get it if you hadn't got things like Utopia or Federations or Apocalypse. I'd recommend you get Utopia and Federations and Apocalypse first. Um, yeah. And possibly even Overlord first. If you're interested in getting an art pack, though, probably wait till there's a sale on and get one of the cheap ones, mm. you know, because they'll be $3, whereas this is $10. So you could get three art packs rather than one. Uh, but then that's the case with these DLC. Um, also, you know, don't not support Paradox. Go buy the DLC. I'm sure there's a link in EP3O's description to buy it from Humble Bundle. Yes, Humble Bundle. Go, go use the link. The only thing I will say is the origins are really nice, but I don't think I'd play Knights of the Toxic God again. That's the only issue with that origin. It's very, you do it and then it's done. But the rest is really good. It's up there with Aquatics for Species Pack for me. It just adds quite a lot. Some of the politics of Slars can be terrifying if you think about it from the perspective of an individual. No, we never think of individuals. We're the leaders. For example, in my current game, the galaxy is ruled by a council consisting of two hive minds, one mechanical, one organic. Imagine being a person living in one of the other empires and realizing that the laws and decisions that affect your life are being made by two entities that are so far removed from your form of existence that they cannot even conceive of your perspective. 
that would be quite scary. But lucky for us, uh, we've not found any alien life in real life, so it's fine. Yeah, and I'm sure that <laughs> billionaires and stuff are very, you know, they're, they're, they're human still, right? They can conceive of our perspective easily. Yes. <laughs> they struggle. They have their human-related problems too. Exactly. They don't just get to wave the magic wand money wand at everything. Yeah, exactly. Mom, is that just my turn to genocide? Wow. <laughs> They I do that. look so childish. The heads are so big. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's the um scale of it. Because usually babies' heads are huge compared to their bodies. It just, it's, and it's the fists clenched as well. Yeah, oh, it's like that rock, that, that anger rock, like, oh. <laughs> Can't believe they made a species back. I can't, Based off Reddit and Twitter. Oh, shots fired. Sheesh. Literally what the average Redditor looks like. It's, it's interesting that Reddit is like, <laughs> They're just saying themselves. themselves here like what wish i had a flying fart disc yeah i mean that's that would be yeah i would yeah, like one of those fart disc it's like back to back to the future just with farts yeah <laughs> i swear there's a film that this kid just farts loads and then he powers cars with farts is that not a yeah, film yeah um no no it's uh it's uh the he eats brussels sprouts and he blasts a rocket ship off <laughs> um thunder 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 boomers um, it's like a cool memory i remember watching it as a child Thunderpants. 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 That's the one. Yes, Throws and he like inflates himself as well. At the very end, he he farts in a rocket ship and it, <laughs> they blast off into space. That's I such swear. a British thing, I think. Yeah, and it's Brussels sprouts that do it. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. I think it's great that the Toxos pack comes with a biological race that nearly perfectly matches the machine portrait. I didn't even notice that. Not gonna lie. That is quite cool though. Very close. Very close. Yeah, those robots for me, I think they're very uncanny valley. Don't yeah. Like oh, nice and toxic god experience. Ooh, ooh. Oh, let's see. What? what I watched. Toxoids, Knights of the Toxic Rise god. a knight. You know, that's that thing, isn't it? What I expected. Yeah, Jedi and like, and think what I got. Slavery, science, <laughs> stability. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dear. Thousands of garrison. Yeah. And year uh, three, one, 2330 before. Oh, I that took that. so long to get for. I didn't know before I started playing it. And I was like, I need to finish this now. Faster than light reference. I love faster than light. Giant alien spiders are no joke. And I think the reference is the vent them out. Yeah. Get rid of them. We can go down to the comments and check so we don't look like fools. What is the icon next to Vent them out? Void dwellers. The void dwellers. Venting five. looks sus. <laughs> Maybe it's an Among Us reference. Oh no. It's, yeah, it's definitely an Among Us reference, not Fast yeah, and Light. Among Us, honestly. You boomer. <laughs> wow. Toxoid name says so finish in spite. I saw a tweet yeah, yeah, about it's this. The Swedes have built a toxic species pack and they've given the names of Finnish inspired names. Interesting. I wonder if they're trying to tell us something. No, no uh, coincidence here at all. Leper meaning older tree in Finnish. Perfidious Swedes make a repugnant toxic. <laughs> That's all right. The cycle repeats. Ooh, the glittering beam from the UNE terror sword fades and Gish is silent. Perhaps history will call. Console? Yeah, I think it's it console. Console. Get off this immediately. Okay. What are we looking at? Console. Okay. For? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, we can go back. We can no, go back. We're, we're rolling. Not with the that. consoles. <laughs> Perhaps history will call the shielding the complete severing of Gish from the greater cosmos extreme and unjust unjustified or perhaps not for now the Liturian system has a new planetary terrarium tap on the this glass and watch them squirm ding, ding, it's ding. a prick t isn't it they've re they've reshielded the prick t oh yeah, yeah exactly because they, they start in a shield you burst them out and then they've gone they've, they've, they've put them back turns out in this case you can put the toothpaste back in the bottle <laughs> i just like the tap on the glass and watch them squirm like they're fish oh here's a nice rant only 3.7k really this is like unlocking a boss as a playable character but i've at least expected it to be as powerful as a juggernaut yeah which i, I want it to be 20k or something it's the the the, the dreadnought the dreadnought yeah. yeah the automated dreadnought you should be able to build dreadnoughts oh yeah that would be cool i want more give ships. that man a job oh, for, uh, it's only good early game if you get lucky essentially yeah another trophy to park in your capital system <laughs> It's literally, yeah, event ships are just meh sometimes. You should be able to, like, scale them up with your empire, at the very least. Like, redesign it, I don't know. This is what your guides are like. You see, hangers are superior because they can be researched relatively quickly and... Hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up. 
This is what my guides are like. You shush now, mister. Go on, keep reading. I've got... Cruisers are something for this purpose. The high will... The blah 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 shield capacitors yes but combine you you can customize ships oh gosh yeah well yeah it's the difference between you know a ship design enthusiast and giga chad auto designer yeah i mean just use it's surely the best because the game's telling you what to use right game knows yeah. oh another flag what's wrong with it oh it's not centered oh i know what i'm using is the thumbnails yeah <laughs> just to cringe both. The cringe. The cringe. Crisis declaration. Comma. These maps. I've seen this person post uh, many times, and the maps are so nice. Or at least maps that are like this. But look at that. Hey, this is something for uh, timelines potentially. Get get them there. Uh... Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, nice. <laughs> so don't 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 you worry your pretty little heart. Don't you worry. It's really cool. Very cool. Finished setting up our merch shop as well. Oh. <laughs> uh, Deep Rock Galactic fans out there, I've not actually played this game, but it, it's for the for the mine gods or something. That's a reference. Danger, darkness, dwarves. Come on, you should know it. I've not played it. I promise. Disappointing. <laughs> and once again, asking the slowest developers to free them. Yeah. Uh. Get. Why don't we get a free, like a version without the um the growths? Yeah. That no, that one's not. Oh. Oh. I've only just noticed that's two separate ones. Yeah. There's like a thing attached to his head. I Oh my goodness, yeah. I've only just noticed that. And th that one as well, I just thought he had funny colored fur. No, he's consumed. They're, like they're owned by fungus. Free them, please. So, uh, I tried <laughs> out... <laughs> I tried Doom Sergeant <laughs> for the first time ever. <laughs> oh, press F to pay respect. That is a... Like, like the second you see... Oh, <laughs> At least they got loads of break, break, break. I mean, you could try to get round them. Like, you could edge round them with a construction ship and a science ship. Yeah, if you said it's really passive. Try. Yeah, you'd have to really pray. I'd love oh this as God. a saving save. <laughs> you either rush habitats. I don't Stop even think off. you can get habitat. Yeah, you cannot. Because um... you, you're going to lose so much uh, habitability on your capital. Your science is garbage. Like, look, he's making 96 science at year eight. It's not going to Rest in peace. Well. Fruit attack didn't deserve this. He just wanted to play. I mean, to be fair, he could build up a massive navy and then just kill one of the systems at year 35. But, like, he'd have to really finesse it and get, like, yeah. 15k worth of ships out. Go attempt to kill one system and smush through. Yeah. And then hope he's close enough to find a planet. Like, oh, it's just not worth it. That just looks like hours of pain. Just me. restart. <laughs> Yep. Maximum number of empires in unmodded Solaris. Is it though? Because I've played with every system being, uh, I guess it was modded. Max hyperlanes too, um, I think. Modded, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to be fair, it probably is because he's, they probably used like the Hegemony Origins a bunch. Oh, that, yeah, let's look at our five. So like, this is the most AI empires you can have at the start of the game in unmodded Solaris. A total of 104 empires. Okay, that's insane. Huge galaxy with 30 AI. AIs all four spawned from player created empires with the Game common ground. Map takes around 10 seconds at fastest speed. Someone spawn the unbidden, please. That's insane. I'm not sure that all of the fallen empires and stuff would actually spawn in. I don't think they'd have space. I'm concerned. I want mm. you should sit here and count through all of these EP3s just to confirm okay. it. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Amazon Prime. My first Rogue Surveyor playthrough is ready. Wait, they've even got the Amazon <laughs> logo. Amazon serves the humans. Just wait until Relentless Industrious comes with Toxoids. Yes, then you can use that. Destroy the Amazon by being Amazon. No, you can't because it's machine. Sorry to... Sorry to... No! Oh, Mars, the new home of mankind. I think they were doomsday. Rest in peace, Earth. Now, Mars. Mars is not very big. No. And if they only had Mars, I mean, like, interesting. I think it's for role play. It's... <laughs> oh, that is a heart. Oh, they colonized. They colonized the Fallen Empire Holy World almost. Or they colonized the system. But it's okay. It's just a habitat. <laughs> that would be... Uh, yeah. How, would, how does the AI even know to do that? Just to make you... Cry. I'm pretty sure they're set now, so the AI can't colonize the walled garden stuff. Pretty sure. Yeah. Best place for the end game crisis to spawn. Soul. <laughs> oh dear. Galactisha, <laughs> give
Is that June? That's a galactic energy wave. Yeah, it's, it's, I just shouted it. I didn't need to shout it. I mispronounced it a bit because I can't really read it on your screen. But it, uh, their localization is in German, it looks like. Yes. Just a lovely uh, photo of the solution to piracy. That's like using a nuclear weapon to stop pickpocketing. <laughs> yes. You what? pickpocket Did... when nuking you the world. That thing blocks illegal downloads. <laughs> Oh dear. I thought the Brickety was supposed to be a joke until they weren't. That is. Rest in peace. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll... Wait, this is insane. 62 years in, they got 3k tech. What? No, that's the player. Yeah. How's the player done that? Well, he's only got... Um, I'm assuming he's just playing really well. Huh? That's true. What's the build? Ravenous Swarm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was the build? He was playing Ravenous... Go down, go down, go down. Ravenous Swarm subsumed... No, up, 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 down, 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 Ravenous Swarm subsumed will strong, fleeting, rapid breeders progenitor to hive mine. Planet Unification, then Ocean Paradise Aquatic. Now they're progenitors for full turn and roleplay. Okay. I don't think that's his own, is it? No, I mean, Rapid Breeders progenitor to Hive Mind Ravenous Swarm is going to be, that's going to be quite powerful to play with. You're going to get lots of pop growth. I can see this being working. Mm. But it's not the original poster, that's what I mean. That's what yeah, I was I looking at. This is that. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh well. Hov, you've lost the Liberation War. Here, Xenophobe, take this. <laughs> Every species ever. Xenophile, egalitarian, utopian oh, abundance, so and the fat L. <laughs> the L actually stands for lag. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, we got a text, Fred. How did you get into this situation? Literally got a system next to a fallen empire. WTF. You settled a system next to a xenophobic fallen empire? Yes. D did you ignore their demand to leave the system? Yes. F. I wish we could see the consequences. Just the text monologue. They're dead. That's the consequence. That's yes, true. They're dead. Execute order 66. Uh, I mean 67. As a clone army empire denounce the spiritualist fallen empire, then destroy them. Directive 67. Glad we had the orange vehicle. <laughs> What if you become Sonic clones though, hey? 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 That's true. Think of that one. And if you're enjoying this video, please Reddit that, Reddit, Reddit, Reddit. Reddit. Yes. Thank you for joining me, Montu. Go subscribe if you aren't. Thank you for joining me, EP3O, on my new channel called EP3O. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be here all week. You stole my channel, no! If you enjoyed this video, then you'll like the time I reacted to r slash Reddit, but on my own.